Now we're going to make a 90 degree throatless elbow with metal turning vanes inside. Metal turning vanes uh, come in long bars or long uh, lengths so they can be cut to any size duct interior size that you need. These are double wall turning vanes which are the best ones so they have a better airflow in them. Uh, the, the rails are also uh, bought in long lengths so they can be cut to the size of particular ducts you're going to be making. And that's what we're going to be installing in our, in our elbow today. We're going to start off with an 8x12. We're going to go away from the, the tape side so there's less cutting here to be done because there's lots of extra thickness here. Uh, we're also going to make the, the, air, the air flow come out this side. So we're going to take this side panel out. Now to take the side panel out and use it properly for the end cap, we have to make this size so it'll fit another piece of duct the same size. That's done by taking the inside dimension, which is 12 inches, plus an inch, well, plus one and a half times the thickness of the duct. This duct happens to be inch and a half thick, so it's going to be 14 and a quarter inches to the outside. That's where we're going to make our marks. Now, if you forget that, you can always just come inside, measure from the inside of the female, to the outside of the duct and it comes up to 14 and a quarter inches. So that's the size to verify that you're making it. We're going to cut all the way through this and then all we have to do is just a very thin cut on the two corners to open this duct up. And we're going to set that aside to be used at a later, at a later time. Now when we're making these turning vanes fit in here, we have to consider that the next section of duct is going to come inside here and fit. The male section is going to fit. So we have to come back here three quarters of an inch. Then we're going to make this corners where we want to be. The placement of the turning vanes is very crucial and positive and, and good airflow in a duct. Otherwise, it'll have too much back pressure. So you have to be very careful and do this properly. We're going to make this line here, from there to this corner. So that we can have our placement of our turning vanes. Now in the and the placement of these, again, we're going to come out here because this is the female side. We're coming away and we're going to turn. So we'll place these in here. We want to get them centered. In the duct so the, the male fitting in here will not hit this turning vein. So there's our placement of the duct. Now with the turning veins, they have to be secured in. Anything over foot or up to a 12 inches needs one screw and if you have more than 12 inches you need two screws. So we're going to have two screw placements in the top of this. Now these washers that we're using are what they call volcano wash washers and there's a flare to them. They have to have that flare away from the foil facing so it doesn't cut the foil. But it needs to be secured that way.
Not too tight, you just want them snug in there to hold them together. Now with the placement of the end cap, it goes right in there and we'll tape that in. The easiest way to do that is usually put it on the end cap and we can use the, the roller tape itself to help pull it back in, come down and tape it off. That helps hold the piece together and hold it in while we're doing the rest of the work on it. We got to put tape tabs on both sides and with this piece we're going to come right straight across it. and put it straight across there. Making sure that you get it secured so that all of the scrim shows through the foil facing, for, foil tape anyway. And that's what a throatless 90 looks like with turning vanes in it. This is a completed product to accept another male fitting and finish the duct system.